We need science that people can get behind. Science that the whole country can embrace. Like I recently read an amazing new study. Science just revealed all of a sudden that octopus punch fish. <laughs> we never knew. All this time, we thought that octopus and fish hunted harmoniously together along the coral reef. The octopus, the fish, BFFs of the sea. And then science up and dropped a video, fucking dropped a new mixtape of an octopus curling its tentacled arm up and fucking punching a fish right out of its way. Which is crazy, because I didn't even know that octopus were from Massachusetts. I had no idea. I never knew that. But the octopus the whole time, fucking Brady's a god! <laughs> I believe in science, I have no problem wearing a mask if I'm told to wear a fucking mask. But I'll tell you what you're not gonna fool me on, it's, uh, it's this whole hand sanitizer racket, I'm not buying it. As soon as this pandemic started, all of a sudden, everywhere you went, a bunch of mysterious, white, labelless bottles started appearing. <laughs> and we were told to wash our hands with it. No questions asked. You started reading about distilleries that couldn't welcome customers in anymore, so they started making hand sanitizer with their alcohol to help contribute to the cause. You think anybody's checking that shit? You think they're sending that to the FDA? There's no quality control on that, and we're all just rubbing it on our hands, and you know how you know that I'm right? Because every once in a while, you go to get some hand sanitizer, and you get a real wet one. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> You're expecting a very nice little dollop, perhaps a toothpaste pearl-sized dollop to rub across your hands, and then it just gacks all over your jorts. <laughs> your nicest jorts, your going out social jorts. <laughs> Three years from now, we're all gonna have beat the coronavirus and lost our hands to the sanitizer. And that's how they became the stump people. Those who were able to fetishize the stumps truly thrived, while the rest of us shook our useless nubs at a god we knew was dead long ago. Went extinct because we couldn't figure out how to open our phones with those stumps. Apple tried to rush stump recognition technology, but it was useless. Their engineers had the same goddamn stumps. So lacking the constant access to social media for dopamine rushes, we all suffered massive aneurysms and crashed our e-scooters into oncoming traffic. And that was the end of civilization. Grandpapa, what were cell phones? Oh, cell phones were electronic devices that we held in our hands that we thought would bring us closer together, but actually just wedged us further apart. Ah. Did they come out around the same time that your comedy became poignant as opposed to funny? <laughs> they really did, and it cost me a lot of work, but I made some very good points. <laughs> <laughs>